This video explains how to handle the error message error in load bed restore file magic number in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data object X that we can create in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called X is appearing. And in the next step, we are saving this data object as an RDS file using the save RDS function, as you can see in line four of the code. So after running this line of code, the data object X is exported to our computer based on an RDS file. Now let's assume that we want to load this file back into our studio. Then we might try to use the load function, as you can see in line six of the code. However, if you run the load function, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error in load bed restore file magic number is returned in the RStudio console. And the reason for that is that the load function is not suited well for RDS objects. However, if we want to import an RDS object, we can simply use the read RDS function, as you can see in line eight of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of the file that we want to import. So after running line eight of the code, you can see that the value five is returned, which is actually the content of the data object X. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.